Okay, so moving on to section B, uh, where we will be starting our final activity, which is to do with Microsoft Excel spreadsheet software. So over here in task B1, they say the ski run offers holidays in Europe. The spreadsheet skiing contains information on ski equipment and ski slopes. Okay, it has two worksheets called members and details. Some functions require you to use both worksheets. Okay. So open the spreadsheet scheme, open the worksheet members, and you have to enter these details in the header. Okay, so let's get started with that. Let's go into our folder. Let's open up skiing, and let's immediately go into the members worksheet. So we are in the members worksheet, and then let's go into insert, uh, header and footer. So uh, it's loading, we are in the header right now. Okay, so this top area is the header. And in the header, we have to type task B1, your name, candidate number, and center number. Okay, so task B1, your name, your candidate number, and your center number. Okay, so now since the header part is complete, I prefer to go back into normal view. If I come to the view tab, as you can see right now, I'm in page layout. I prefer going back into normal view, so I'm going to go back into the normal view. Okay. Now, in this view, of course, the header is not visible, but when you do go to take a printout, you can see the header is automatically appearing. Okay. Right. So, over here, the first thing that they have asked is they have said that insert a new row at the top of the spreadsheet and enter the heading ski information 2021. So, uh, I want a row to come above the first row. So, I keep my cursor on the first row. I right click and I say insert entire row. So I have got an entire row that appears over here. And uh, I type the information, ski information 2021. Okay. Then the next question goes on to say, merge and center cells A1 to E1. So A1 to E1 should be merged and centered. So we'll do that. A1 to E1 I have selected. And in the home tab, we have merge and center over here. Okay. The next thing it says is set the formatting of the heading to, okay, set the formatting of the heading to uh, font size uh, 24, font style serif and bold, okay, so it should be 24, so let's make it 24, it should be a serif font, isn't it? So serif font means it should have pointy edges, so we'll go with something like Times New Roman. Okay, it should be a font that has pointy edges, so any font that has a pointy, has pointy edges, you can take. So I'm going to go with Times New Roman, okay? And the next thing is it should be bold. So we'll make it bold as well, okay? So, so far, no problems. It's going well, okay? Uh, in Insert in the header, the text completed and then automated date. So in the header, so we have to go again back to the header. So we come to insert and we come to header and footer. So once again, we are in the header. And over here, we have to type completed. And next to it, uh, we have to put an automatic date, automated date. You shouldn't be typing it, okay? So to do that in the header and footer itself, you get an option to insert the current date. Can you see? At the current date, this comes in the header and footer tab, okay? So when you click on that, automatically the date appears over there, okay? So I'm just going to come back to a normal cell, okay? And then... Uh, I think that's it. We are done with the header. So I'm going to go back to layout view again. So I'm going to go back to normal view. Right now we are in page layout. I'm going to go back into normal view again. And then the next thing it asks for is uh, insert, a, <coughs> sorry, insert a blank row between the heading and the first row of information. Okay. Insert a blank row between the heading and the first row of information. Format this row to be approximately half the height of the other rows. Okay. So let us first insert a row window. So they told us it should be a row that is below the heading. Okay, between the heading and the first row. So between the heading and the first row means it needs to appear above this number. So I keep the cursor here. I right click and I say insert entire row. Okay, and then they have told me over here, the question paper they have told me, format this row to be approximately half the height of the other rows. Okay. So the other rows, they are approximately how much? Let's select it. Let's come to the home tab and let's click on format row height. So you can see this row is about 14. Okay, all these rows, <clears throat> I'm sorry, from row number three to row number 18. And they are all 
So row number two has to be approximately half of it. So which is around 7.25, isn't it? The question paper told us that row number two should be half of the other rows, okay? So we'll say, okay, so we'll come to row number two, we'll come to row number two, we'll come to format, row height and make it 7.25, okay? Okay, so this is half the height of the other rows, okay? Moving on, it says to the next part, task B1B, this is where the calculations come into place. Simon wants you to use spreadsheet tools to analyze the data for the information included, okay? Use one spreadsheet function to display the cost of equipment hire. So over here, we have to display the cost of equipment hire. They haven't given us a lot of information, but if you do come to the details worksheet, you can see, let's zoom in. In the details worksheet, you can see if it is level one, the cost is 230. If the level is two, it's 280. If it is level three, it's 340. So based on the level, the equipment cost should automatically appear over here. Okay, so we can use a function called lookup or we can use vlookup. Okay, any one of them is fine. Okay, so let us attempt it with uh, vlookup. Okay, we'll try vlookup in this case. So I'm going to come to, or shall we try it with lookup itself? Let's start with lookup itself. So I'm going to come to insert function, insert function, and I'm going to look for lookup. Okay, so over here, I'm going to type lookup and say go. So I have got lookup over here. So I will be going with the second option. Okay, I will be going with the second option and I say, okay. So lookup value, what are we checking? Okay, what are we checking? We are checking the member type, we are checking the level. Okay, based on that only the equipment higher price should come. So then array means where are all your values kept? Okay, so where are all our values kept? Our values are kept from here to here. Or else we can select from here to here. Okay, let's remove this again. Okay, so our values are going to be from here to here. So our computer will look at the value in B4. What is the value in B4? It will then come to the array and look next to that value. What is the value? It will take that particular value. Okay, I think I confused you. I think I confused you. Let's do this again. Okay, so in equipment hire, based on the member type, based on the level that is typed over here, automatically the price should appear over here. Okay. Now, the thing is, the prices are mentioned in the next worksheet. In the next worksheet, the prices have been put. So they have said if it's level one, it should be 230. If it's level two, it should be 280 and so on. Okay. So we have to use a function over here that will check the level type and then automatically decide what the fee should be, what the cost should be. Okay. So we can use a function called lookup. Okay. So let's go to insert function and let's make use of this function called lookup. I'm going to make use of this second option. Okay, second option. And I say, okay. So it's asking me lookup value. What are we checking? 